that's a thing. And we gon' go another day when we don't disagree. And when the sun shine here, regardless if you do believe, hey. Still awake in the morning when I see your face. Need you more when you go, I need you more every day. Keep a foot on the brake in case I lose all control. Yeah, so baby, don't lose control. I'm focused on you, baby. Lately, you've been in my aim. I've been reaching out for you and still that's so far away. No can do the smoke in the mirror. Crazy how I see you so clear. Crazy how I see you so clear. And how you make me smile. And how you make me smile. Oh, yeah. And how you make me smile. Oh, baby, how you make me smile. Smile more when I see you. Smile less when I miss you. No, I don't wanna be left alone. Oh, no. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to something a little bit different. Uh, welcome to Baldur's Gate 3. Baldur's Gate is a very interesting and very nostalgic franchise for me. I remember as a kid playing the original, like, hours and hours into the original. Actually, hold on. Do I still have the CDs? Sorry. I should have thought of this before. I do! Oh my god, I do. Look at this. I still have the original CD book that Baldur's Gate came into. And back in the old days, it was actually five different CDs. You'd have to switch the discs out at various points. Because uh, there's only so much information. And you'd, of course, have to have the... Uh, the CD running in the game while you played. That's ridiculous. So yeah, kind of kind of like this. Oh, it's super dusty. Let's put it away. Plus one for the expansion. I had the expansion. I don't know why that's not in there. I had the expansion where it was like just one old extra large castle. Um, owned by a wizard that was full of traps. That was a really tough expansion. You have the Icewind Dale discs around here somewhere. Nice. Am I playing with Adam? Nope, this is going to be solo. I mean, Adam's further ahead. I'm just going to hang out and do my own thing here. So I'm very, very excited to check out this game. This franchise meant a lot at the time. I was playing Baldur's Gate before I even really knew what D&D &D was. <laughs> yeah, I'm... I don't know. I'm looking forward to check this out. That being said... This is a very different game from what I normally stream. 
Uh, this game has a lot more mature content. This game has a um, ESRB, I think that's what it's called, M17 rating. So those of you who have come to hang out and really enjoy the family-friendly content that we're doing, this is going to be a little bit different from that. And so there might be a bit of a shock. Um, in Discord, we had a little community talk about, hey, are you okay with me checking out this game? It is a little bit different. And I don't want to say overwhelmingly, there were some people who had some concerns, and I do hear the voices, and I do respect that. But for a lot of folks, um, ratio-wise, there was enough positive support that I felt confident in giving this a try. And honestly, if it ends up working out, if, if it ends up being the sort of thing that doesn't feel right for the channel, we're not married to an entire playthrough. But I'm very excited to play this game. I'll be playing it off-stream or something like that. This, uh, this really takes me back. So I hope you're excited to dive into this and play this game with me. Uh, really quickly, let's welcome some subs. The Dexter Kennedy, thank you for that Prime Marie sub. Welcome back, friend. And Kerbalized, 21 months. Ooh, your sub can drink. So just, again, a reminder, uh, this is a mature game. There is a content warning for some violence and some profanity. Uh, viewer discretion is advised. Let's go. Ignore the little test game in the bottom corner here. I just played through the tutorial so I could check things out. Oh. Welcome, my friends. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So there is a little bit of uh, a yikes moment in this opening tutorial, so just heads up, but otherwise, this is so cool. Yeah, if you're worried about eye stuff, it'll be very obvious when you should look away. There is something you? in our brain. All right, welcome to my favorite part, character creation. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> you joined at the worst possible moment, didn't I? Yeah, what an opener, eh? What an opener. So there's one other content warning that I'm actually just going to skip for people who are familiar. It's the brain stuff. We're just gonna We're just gonna ignore that. I don't think it involves any important stuff. Who are we going to play is a very, very interesting question here. I think I want to go with some... <laughs> that was a real eye-opener. Yikes. <laughs> yeah. I want to go magic. I want to go magic. So let's take a look at which magical classes we have access to us. We have... Ac oh, cleric, warlock, or wizard. Powerful patrons. Nah. What are my cantrips as a wizard? Magic Rouge. No Sorcerer. There's also no Druid. We're a little bit restricted into six classes here, but that's okay. 
There are more you can choose from if you want to be a wizard. So cantrips, okay. Um, if you've only played old D&D before, the idea of a cantrip is something that was added in later versions of D&D to give you more options. Previously, a low-level low level wizard, you'd get your memorized spells, and then you'd get no more spells until you had a rest, which is really tough. Cantrips are like level zero spells that you can cast over and over and over. Uh, you also have your memorized spells on top of it. It just means that after you go through your spell book, you're not done. You're not, you're like, okay, well, uh, I can't contribute anymore. So I thought that was a really nice way to just give you more actions as a spellcaster. Yeah, it means you aren't useless after you cast two spells at level one. Totally. I mean, I realize... Okay, so let's talk about my play style here. I have a tendency to want to play rangers. I really like rangers. But I want to break out of my combat class. I don't know if I want to go straight wizard. I think that might be kind of cool. I'm looking at... What if we did some kind of combat cleric? I do like the idea of having a healer. I think... I think... You know, somebody who walks up and just hits people with a hammer seems kind of sweet. They said they're planning to add all of the 5 edition classes. Yo! So I take it we don't roll our stats in this game? Because let's be real, if I had rolled my stats, I'd do a lot better than that. <laughs> 1, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I suppose that is pretty balanced. Battle clerics are pretty serious. I mean, that's that's me. I'm pretty serious. All right, what are my other options? Life domain, light domain, justice, majesty, and flame. Okay. Trickery? I'm not a trickery. I'm not a trickery kind of person. Okay, my options are life, light, and trickery. You'd say flame or life? Yeah, I think so too. Really nice Minecraft shaders. Thanks, Sean. War and Storm. I don't think we get those options right now. These are the three we have. Uh, light. Life. Let's go with Healer. Let's roll the Healer for us here. Ranger doesn't suck because they're using a tweaked variant. Ooh. Also, I should probably roll a Cleric after I dunked on Clerics at the PPR. <laughs> Let's be real. All right. Uh, life. Or life. Race. Oh, check this out. All right, let's go male. Oh, wow. Anybody else getting some Witcher vibes right now? Dang. Uh, high Elf Cantrip is Minor Illusion. My Tiefling. Do, does everybody still hate the Drow? Uh, bonus to Dexterity, bonus to Charisma. Yeah, Smith, the Discord alert always takes a little bit. Humans. Oh, I like the, the human stat of you're just a little bit, a little bit more features. Wait, how did my dexterity drop so much? Dwarf seems great if we want to go hammer. Oh my God. Uh-huh. Dwarven resilience. You have advantage on saving throws against poison. Uh, wisdom is great for clerics. Oh, I think I might love this. Wait, let's just check the other races really quickly here. Bonus to charisma if we go half elf. Oh, we're so pretty. Yes, okay. Wait, gold dwarf, okay. Confidence and keen intuition. Shield dwarf. Survived a long fall from grace, surrendering many of their ancient kingdoms in war with goblins and orcs. These losses have made them cynical, yet shield dwarves will endure anything to restore their homelands. Interesting. Gives you a plus two to strength. Gold dwarf. Oh, okay. So it's either a gold dwarf or a shield dwarf. You know what? I think a healing dwarf that values family ritual and fine craftsmanship. Also, the bonus to wisdom seems kind of sweet if we're going to be a, a, a cleric, right?
Yeah, that beard. That beard. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see if we can't change things here. What do I sound like? Hells. Something just woke up down here. Eye color. Uh, let's try and go with something similar to my eye color here. Perfect. It's basically me. Oh, the wings! Okay, hold on. Like, the curl is pretty great. But, yo, look at this! Alright, what, what are my beard options right now? I love that hair. Okay, longer beard, maybe not. <laughs> my name is Antigua Montoya. You killed my father. Uh, uh No. Okay, a little bit scruffy. Oh, wow. Does it just get progressively longer? No. 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 Closer. <laughs> no. All right. I think we have our option. I like, yeah, I don't... I don't want to lean into the, like... A dwarf has to have a beard sort of thing, but I went with no beard there, and okay, didn't quite feel right. I think I just like, let's just click on some other options just to see. Ooh, wait a second. Blonde dwarf. <laughs> nah, I think, I think the black hair worked. Stupid, sexy, thick boy. <laughs> You're not wrong. Yeah. I like this. Hold on a second. Oh. Oh, I kind of love that. But no. No, no, no. Wait. Tattoos, you say? Oh, facial tattoos? Okay, I think that's a little too hardcore. Maybe a little... Are those... A little something something on the cheek there? Yeah. No. Nah, you know what? I don't think we, I don't think we need tattoos here. Makeup. Oh, we can give a little bit of eyeliner. Can I zoom in on the face? Oh! Oh! Hello. So we got a little bit of eyeliner there. Nice. Really, really brings out the green. Oh, that's interesting. Just the dots under the eyes. Uh, I mean, after that cutscene, I think we're all feeling like that. I think we can go with no eye makeup here. Hey, Ray Manicus, thank you for that prime, my friend. Alright. Oh, yeah. Uh, Oscar Isaac and Dune vibes? I was definitely seeing that for a second. I think, you know, we clicked through some different options, but I think we're looking pretty good here. Let's talk about our class. We're a cleric. Oh, I have to choose my god. Oh. A matriarch of the drow. That doesn't make sense. The exile and tyrannical patron of the Durgar. His clerics are unquestioned rulers. Nope. Soul respected leader of the Githyanki. Let's try and find something dwarven here. Goddess of the good aligned drow. Beauty, song, and freedom. No. Silver. The lady of silver. Nah. Zasa Wolf, thank you for three months. Enjoy your new bean. Tempest, Lord of Battles. Uh, maybe. Alright, somebody remember Tempest. You want Morden? Okay, give me a second. Bane, Dark Carabot, no. Helm, the Watcher. Ooh. The Crying God is interesting here, actually. Protects the oppressed and the persecuted. If we're trying to go for good guy cleric here. Mistra, Mother of Magic, no. Ogma. Sharing knowledge. God of Murder, nope. Alright, Moradin. 
The All Hammer of the Dwarven Gods. Yeah, I don't know if we want to go Forge and or war, and war Domain here. I think, I think maybe Crying God or Tear. Velvin Pantheon, the Watchful Protector. Wow, there's so many gods. All right, so we had Tear, which was kind of cool. Or who was the Crying God? Ah, oh, man. They're gonna cry after you swing that hammer? Maybe, yeah. What do you think? Ill matter or tear? Goth dwarf follows crying god? You don't want your god to worship the, the elven god? Your dwarf to worship the elven god? Yeah, that's fine. Wow. Alright, looks like a lot of people wanted to see tear, but it looks like more people are interested in ill matter. Tear is like the good guy. By the way, we're obviously playing the good guy, right? You know what? Mods, you want to throw up a poll? I'm really curious about this. Paladins love tier. Oh, Jer Wayne and on team tier as well. Tier is the high tier pink winky face. Is that chainmail or a sweater? Why not both? Ill matter doesn't get enough love. I mean, you gotta you gotta have respect for somebody just called the Crying God, right? Aren't we playing the good guys or the bad guys who think they're the good guys? I want to be the good guy. Can we not worship Balder? No, you don't. Sounds like a baby. Okay, Jordan has spoken. I don't know if we can we can pick the baby god. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> All right, let's go for let's go for tier here. Welcome to Mad McLean. All right, so I can customize my spell. Create water. <clears throat> Interesting. Guiding bolt. Deal four d six radiant damage. What? Okay. Bane. I want to have a heal spell as one of my it's one of my cantrips here. So let's get rid of targets of three creatures. They receive a D4 penalty on attack rolls and saving rolls. Nah, let's give ourselves a healing word here. Now this is ranged heal, or oh I don't get I don't get the touch heal, which is interesting. That's fine. What's the box in the bottom right? Oh, these are my prepared spells. That's where I get the better heal. So uh, these are our known spells. Healing word. And what are our cantrips? Guidance. Light. Thaumaturgy. Okay, we've picked resistance. We've picked sacred flame. Cool. Yeah, Guiding Bolt seems strong, but these are our Memorized Spells. We only get so many per day. Our Cantrips are really what we're going to be casting the most here. And so, uh, 1d8 repeatable damage spell is kind of cool. Range 18 meters is huge. Just check it really quickly. Light. Yeah. Alright. Next up, we got our Skills. Oh, cool! Alright, so we get Proficiency in couple things here. Uh, I love persuasion. So, you know what? This dwarf has gone out to see the world. They don't actually know a lot what's happening here. Of course you take persuasion. We got a charisma of 12. That's fine. Skills about proficiency. Okay. Insight, religion, obviously religion. If we're a healer, it has to be medicine. I think I'm fine passing on that. Sacred Flame is save versus dex. That's good to know. Thank you. I can assign more points? Oh. So, if I put another point in Constitution, it bumps us up to plus three, which is kind of huge. There's more to scroll down on spells? Okay, I'll go back, Wolf King. Or I can give myself a new point, another two points in Charisma. 
Or, wait, oh, I can't add more? Oh, never mind. I'd have to move things around. So, I think I'm happy with this, actually. I think I'm happy with how everything is here. Is this just a straight D&D? &D? This is D&D &D 5 edition, 5th edition. Yeah, I can move points around. I'm pretty happy with that spread. Hammer time, this makes sense. We're mostly tough. We're definitely wise. Kind of smart. Passable smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're fine there. Okay, so somebody was saying if I go back... Oh, oh, oh! Oh, yeah, okay. Class features, spell slots unlocked, wisdom saving throw. These are the spells I have access to. Right, we saw that up there. Wow, inflict wounds. Pretty cool, but that's fine. I like this. Oh, I do just get cure wounds as a subclass feature. Cool. Abilities. All right. Oh, we need to name our character. Background. Acolyte. Charlatan. No. Criminal. No. Entertainer. No. Folk hero. Hello. Tis I. Guild, artisan, noble, hermit, medicine, religion. Interesting. Outlander. I think Acolyte is fine, actually. There's more character creation? I mean, I clicked on all the tabs. Let's go back to our abilities, or go back to our skills. Yeah, let's get history out, put it in persuasion. If you change your background, check your skills. Yep, yep. No, no, no. I'm not an entertainer. This isn't me. I'm not injecting myself into the game, although, you know, everybody's first D&D character is basically just themselves. Is there a bard class? The four classes you get access to. Where'd that go? Are just these six for now. Alright, I'm about ready to lock it in. Are you ready to venture forth, chat? A life cleric dwarf? That's your default character? Yeah, I figure I owe all clerics an apology after I roasted them on the PPR. Okay, let's go. Wait, just make sure. We're going to be playing this character potentially for a while, so let's make sure everything is good here. Look how handsome we are. Still a gold dwarf. Venture for! Tell me, who do you dream of at night? Who do you dream of? Who attracts you? Pardon? Wait a second. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm I'm going to make <laughs> I beg your pardon? I mean, hello. <laughs> Let's go just a little bit more golden here. Wow. Can we go a little bit even more golden? Yeah. Look, everybody everybody dreams of their perfect little golden god there. No. The way the light is hitting the hair there? Wait, maybe old man? Can we name this angel? I I don't think we can. Wait, did Adam also roll a dwarf god life cleric? Seriously? <laughs> ah, there's a reason we're friends. You vote golden hair? Yeah, let's go back to let's go back to blonde. All right. 
Cool. I just like the idea of every time I close my eyes. Yep. All right, let's go. have come a long way since the original Baldur's Gate. This is rad. I'll need some people who are more familiar with the D&D lore to explain that move to me. Yo! Okay, we are shifting planes. So we are in one of the demonic planes right now. So that's not a teleport. That's actually like a plane shift. Holy moly. Mid-Flayer is a Nautilid, which is a remnant of their old empire, and basically a ship meant to, tr meant to travel between planes to capture slaves. That's so cool. That's so cool. Oh, hey, look, we're awake. Hello? Oh, my head. All right, so we are on the ship here. Autosave successful. Okay. Aha! Let's go loot the flare. Ooh, spiked ball, but potion of speed. Not bad. Dead. Good. Anything else in here? 
A little rotato, rotato there. What is this? Oh, cool. Okay. Better. Didn't Corey work on Baldur's Gate? Corey worked for a studio that did the re-release. I don't think she worked on the original one, but she worked on when they re-released it on Steam and stuff like that. Quick save on F5. Okay. It's good to know. So I don't have to go back through stuff like that. Yeah, the enhanced remakes is a good way to describe that. Thanks, Gaz. Ooh, imps. All right, so there's a bit of a battle happening on our ship, apparently. Devil kin, am I in the hells? Devil kin, am I in the hells? The answer, the answer might surprise you. Scroll of Firebolt. Um, for the tutorial, we can go up here, and there's a thing that involves a bit of body horror, and I'm just gonna go ahead and skip that. Yep, uh, I don't think I need to go up there, and I don't need to see what that is, and I think that's a big skip on one of the other most violent scenes. So let's just pretend that didn't happen. Yo! Sorry, what? We are still flying. Okay, this kind of mobility is really cool. That's really cool. What's up, Willie Art? Thank you for four months. <laughs> Tune in, it's four months and everything is on fire. Look, I don't think, I don't blame you for this fire, Willie Art. It's had nothing to do with you. All right. Oh, hello. Abomination. This is your end. Your head throbs and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon's wing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh, my head. What is this? Squaw, you are no thrall. Blacketh blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. Imps block the path forward. You will assist me in destroying them. We must reach the hell. You didn't really ask me, did you? You will assist me. Um, do it before we transform. All right. Transform, what do you mean? These are surprisingly competent options. You know what? As a cleric, we probably know a little bit about stuff like that. We know what transform means. Probably turn into one of those things. Is the helm our way out of here? This is where we might gain control of the Ga'arth ship. Once in command, we will deal with our game. Yeah, she doesn't ask for help. I see that. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go. First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. Yeah, I don't think we have to do that we'll like, wait, 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 but who are you sort of thing. Like, no, we look. The material We're on a giant flying space squid. We can figure that out later. All right, what do I know about you? Sorry, let's just click these closed. Movement, I've managed to figure that out. Inventory, yep. Jump, got over that. Tool tips. Hold alt. Yeah, I kind of did that intuitively. All right. She clearly has magical armor. Oh. If Yankee aren't big on social graces. Okay, combat turns. Combat happens in turns. You get one action and a bonus action. You can also move. Okay. Turn order. Yeah, there's initiative at the top. Actions. Okay. Bonus actions. Movement bar. Okay. Oh, cool. I, it seems like I can actually fairly seamlessly switch between ranged combat and melee combat. Pew pew. Bad start. Really? We missed our first ever action. I don't know what just happened there. Ah, uh, well, I think it's hammer time. So, oh, I am so slow. Why would I make a melee character that can't ever get into combat? Can I jump? 
and then move. Okay, jumping uses a third of my movement. Ah, I can get in. All right, let's go. All right, now can I also punch or no? No, that was my entire action. Okay. Oh, right. I also have spells. Maybe I should maybe I should use my cleric stuff next time. Can I get close enough to hit you? No. All right, we'll use the bow again. How do I unselect that. There we go. Could have sworn that said 80% both times. Oh, dash is an actual, which is why I couldn't pun punch. Alright. Okay, it's hammer time. Goodbye. Oh, this is kind of cool. Check this out. You can use your movement to get around. I take it that red means you're provoking an attack of opportunity. So just stay where we are and punch. Yeah! Can I attack twice or no? What does uh, what does shove mean? Oh, cool! Okay, we're going to try and block line of sight for the ones trying to get a uh, ranged attack on me here. Next level tabletop. Excited to watch me play? Welcome. Thanks, friend. facing the wrong way. Ow. Okay. A little awkward here. Hammer time. Yeah! There we go. And can I also use... Is this a spell or a cantrip? You know, let's heal... Can I heal you? So I can attack and cast a spell in the same turn? What? That seems powerful. That seems really powerful. Alright, let's get closer to this ranged enemy. It's weaker than Cure Wounds? Yeah, but if I can do it for free, because it's a cantrip? That's absurd, right? Okay, let's try and use my other cantrip. Do I need line of sight? Apparently not. Oh, that was my level one spell, not the cantrip? That's awkward. I thought, no. I thought Cure Wounds was the spell. I think I'm mistaken. Action spell slot. Action, action. Oh, these are my spell. Oh, okay, I see. So I did just waste a spell there. Yo! Interesting. You prove surprisingly adequate in battle. Now, to the hell. Alright, let's loot everything first. What is an intellect devourer? Okay, it's a walking brain. Gross, got it. Ooh, another potion of healing. It's like a brain puppy. Yeah, don't like that. Looks like we're getting some grenades here. I'm sure... There's no huge hurry I should be in right now. And I can just take my time and loot everything, right? I think I think I'm making the correct decision here. Oh, cool. And there's another one of these healing things. Oh, okay. Oh, it resets my spell slot too? Alright, yo, I'm in. So 
All right, when we read stuff, I guess I'll just have to memorize which is which. So you can see if it takes a spell slot, it's got that in a little tooltip at the top. Can I? I can. Excellent. Just go ahead and put all of our spells at the bottom here. And then scrolls. Scroll of Revive? Okay. Perfect. Always loot. What if this is one of those tutorials where I don't get to keep my character going, though? You know what? Oh, yeah. Look at how we, like, hardened my eyes there. I like that. This is a dwarf that's seen some stuff. Um. Alright, what's happening over here? Hey, a survivor! Will you join my party? Doesn't enthrall mean you're like a slave? Because this person just seems to be out of it. Not Maybe I don't understand what the word enthralled means. Oh, a bow. Can I use a bow as a dwarf? Uh, let's check out our equipment. Yo, what's up, lunatic? Thank you very much for 1,500 biddies. I was going to ask if you had much experience with 5th edition, but then I remembered that I watched the whole of Bylaw and Order. I was really tempted. By the way, friends, I was really tempted to make um, Molander for this, and I just didn't know if that was a right fit. So it looks as if the game is actually super forgiving on switching back and forth between a ranged attack and a melee attack, so I think there's no reason not to use a bow. But I guess I'll figure out, right? Do I need an arrow as well? Doesn't look like you need arrows, which, honestly, I am here for. Because in old, old Baldur's Gate, having to, like, buy and equip all of the arrows you had. Wolf Strike, thank you very much for seven months. Canals in Baldur's Gate 3, when? Yeah, druids aren't in yet, right? Druid to OP for early access, possibly. Uh, let's go loot all these bodies real quick. I'll take this dagger. Heck yeah, let's go. Alright, can I get to this thrall? Ah, we walk through the fire. Very clever. Oh. The hair of travelers. Gross. Wait, am I going to burn to death here? Alright, uh, I'd like to not go through the fire and die. Okay, let's actually just head back downstairs really quickly and heal again. Can I use this thing twice? Yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's just top ourselves up here. Oh, I can just jump over it. Right. 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 That uh, that would have been more smart than my option to a walk into the fire, and then b use a spell. All right. Let's talk to this person. Uh, Boo got me. Got me. Got me. Right in the gut. Tell the babes I'll be all right. Yeah. The use of spells there felt very similar to. Uh, Divinity Original Sin when it came to, like, elemental things on the ground. Quill gold. Okay. Oh, hold on. Alright, I think this is where we're trying to get. And there's enemies on that side, so let's go this way. Also, I think the flashing lights on the ground are an indication of which way we're supposed to go. Critical Miss. Commander Zalk, level 8. Okay. Alright, let's go fight this membrane. No. 
Gross. Hello. Captured Thrall. Itic, back! Touch nothing without knowing its purpose. Another mystery. Oh, cool! So I go to inspect it, I do an arcana roll. Aggression. Aggression, okay. Uh, let me out. Hey, a new friend. You! Get me out of this town thing! We have no time for stragglers. No, 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 no. There's magic at work here, but what kind? Oh, I get to do an actual roll? That's so cool. All right. Come on, I can beat a seven. There we go. Warding runes. The pod won't open unless they're destroyed. Uh, let's try and open it. Construction is too alien. Nothing looks familiar. This ship is crashing. Do you intend to die for a stranger? Hey, look, maybe we just slow things down a little bit here. I'm gonna touch the pod. Are you satisfied? We need to go. The pot is stuck. I can't free you. There can't be. There has to be another way. Please! It cannot be helped. Come. Interesting. So... There are three buttons. This one said aggression. I think aggression is probably bad. I think there's going to be a 50-50 chance... I'm going to push left or right chat. I bet you this is a puzzle. This one said aggression. So that means something bad. What's the purple thingy next to the pod? I think it's just a tank. All right, go left. All right, chat. If it's not left, you killed this person. Psionic energy radiates from the prisoners, but they do not react. I'll, I'll try the right one now. A backpack? Hold on. Hey. She said not to touch stuff. Look. Hey. There's some good stuff over here, too. Uh, let's just ignore these brain jars. It's kind of gross. Burnished necklace. Elaborate reliquary. Oh! Uh, I'll just take this with me. <laughs> we'll meet a rogue eventually, right? Hello, little friend. Are you an enemy? <laughs> Guess not. trapped inside the pod. She doesn't notice you. Okay. Gross. Arcana check. And maybe I don't want to push this button. Last time we pushed the button, some people died. So let's just go ahead and not push it. Hey, a key! Might fit that chest. Now hold on a second here. Right click. There we go. Hey! Alright, take all. And uh, I don't think we need this anymore. Let's just go ahead. Drop both of those. Unless you think that was worth money. 
I think that says 20 pounds worth one gold. It's not a good ratio. New button? No, 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 no. That was an intellect devourer? It seemed kind of cute. This place feels... Hello again. Alright, you just, you just keep doing you there, friend. I wonder if they're not hostile to me because I have the weird alien thing in my bread brain and so it's like oh you're a friend all right what's in here uh, let's quick save ah uh, yes the old maybe maybe heal before we get in there we are nearing the helm once inside do as I say can we keep it yeah maybe that's the dog that joins our party Do we know how we got a weird alien thing in our brain? Uh, we watched a person put it there. It was the opening cutscene. Okay. Some things are going down in here. Maybe I'll try looting this. Oh, never mind. I just watched Zoidberg kill a man. Hold on. So I am... Interesting. So instead of joining with the devils to kill the Illithid or the Mind Flayer, my goal is just to go touch that and maybe escape. Interesting. Alright. Um, so I probably don't want to get close enough to that fight that I provoke an attack of opportunity. So let's move our full distance here. And, uh, goodbye. Wait, is this literally the, like, worst of two evils? What is it? Mind Flayer or a literal devil? Ow. I kind of love that I can easily switch between ranged... And melee here. Get some free shots. Ow! We need to get out of here now. So the one with the crossbow hasn't gone yet. So let's use another one of our spells here. And get you. Goodbye. Wait, can I? Yeah. Critical miss. Well, that's bad. Oh! Attack of opportunity. Very nice. Ow! If this ship hits the ground, we're dead. Alright, let's use a healing potion. Kill it with a bow. Close enough. Throw their corpses in the sticks. Don't forget, if you want to use your action, you can just sprint. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried about provoking attacks of opportunity. D&D &D thing, if you run by somebody and you don't want to engage, uh, they just get to hit you for free. How many actions does it take to loot a body? Ah, uh, no loot. I think I should help with this fight, or maybe... No, I should probably make sure they aren't aware that I'm here. Carry on. Don't mind us.
Okay, more more demons have shown up. Wait, I'm super hurt here. Wait, where are we in the initiative order here? Okay. Can I attack the Mind Flayer? Look, I'm just gonna pretend that these two don't exist and... Alright, let's heal real quick. Let's get moving a little bit forward here. I've already used all of my spells. Let's try some Sacred Flame here. Maybe I can, uh... Saving throw. Okay, that's not great. Yeah, those two are just chilling. Look. I'll deal with the small fry. You two deal with each other. Hold on. How big is... How big is Cleave here? Can I hit both of these two? Let's go here. Yo! That's exactly what I was hoping would happen. Oh, you're not dead. Well, that's awkward. Yeah, this is the this is actually like the line from uh, Ali like Alien versus Predator. No matter who wins, we lose. Ow! Okay, let's sprint now and let's see if we can't get this right now. Not enough movement. No, no, no we can reach the transponder. Let's go. I get the Yankee. What an interesting opening. Okay, well, we obviously like this Githyanki a lot. Uh. <laughs> Game? Detect thoughts can give you a glimpse into someone's secrets. Cool. All your time reading the second edition D&D setting books is coming back. Yup. Yo! Oh! I like the non-verbal there. They just like can direct stuff. Okay. 
Okay. Sorry, I'm probably not supposed to laugh. Huh. Wait, what? All right, uh, give me one quick second here. Uh, somebody mentioned that I don't think my closed captions are actually working right now. Okay, that should be working now. Apologies. I forget that I was actually have to like... It's a, an extension that doesn't just run in the background there. So, we just got... Just bonked. Uh, and I can't even pick up whatever it was that just bonked me. Also, we're alone now. So, our friend is gone. Uh, friend, that Gith Yankee was not very chill. Love the haircut. Thank you very much, River Otter. Fresh water. There must be a settlement nearby. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right, so, yo, hold on. That's so cool. Hey, what's up, Mui? Thank you very much for 26 months. A mug, not worth it. Oh, wow. All right, I feel kind of bad for this fisher. They were just kind of chilling, minding their own business, and then a giant space squid just landed on them. Water! Sure. I'll take water. Ah, intellect devourers are here. Okay. Apparently getting hit in the head also counted as a short rest because our spell slots are back. When these monsters came. Bad luck. I beg your pardon? Hey! Wave mother. Hey look. A short story. Oh! Perfumed letter. Oh, this is going to be sad. All right. Well, let's go ahead and read this. I love you. There, I said it. And if you meet me tomorrow, I'll say it again and again and keep on saying it until we're old and gray. Let's go to Baldur's Gate. I know it's risky, but so staying here. No! Oh! Finding a love letter on a body? Leave your old boat and meet me at the hill overlooking the old bridge. Bring whatever you can carry. We'll make do without the rest. Don't be late. Love, Anna. Oh. That's very sad. Looks like these intellect devourers ran amok and just started killing all the fishermen. Do we know what system this uses? I'm pretty sure it's 5th edition map board games. Why? Hey, Why a friend! Take this apple. Hello! Blast it, Dora! What? Stop! Not another stepper out! Wait. It's you. Aha! You're the one who tried to free me on the ship. See, it pays At to be kind, chat. You made the effort. Suddenly, you see what she sees. Oh, what you've got a little feels. squid in your brain, too. Confusion, resolve, and a hint of gratitude. Why is everyone <gasps> so angry? Look, we just Did got abducted by space squid. I'd be angry, you've too. You've the same thing I do. In your head. I didn't feel a thing. I like you can just lie. Ah, uh, the mind swap. I've experienced it before. The same. It must be that tadpole they put in our eyes. I assume that's what caused our minds to cross. These things are going to consume us from the inside and turn us into mind flayers. You and I need a healer. Ah, uh, I am a healer. 
Finding one won't be easy in this wilderness. We'll need supplies. I'm hoping something of use might be behind this door. But I've barely made a dent in it so far. A healer? I'm touched by the divine, but this might be beyond me. Okay. Well, well let's try it. It's a unique cleric dialogue I option. I think this is beyond most people. <laughs> we need a better healer. Uh, let's be buddies. Be my guest, but that door's too strong. Maybe there's another way, up the cliff. Hopefully there's no more of these things. Oh, did anyone else survive? No, unless you count these monsters. You're the friendliest face so far. I could use your help. Or just company for our final moments. Hey, there we go. But you're right. Whatever lies ahead will be a little less daunting with support. You can call me Shadowheart. I'm Surge. Let's get wait. Shadowheart? Your name's a little No, that's that's I mean, it is a dialogue option. After everything you've been through, my name gives you pause. Please. All right. Hey, what's up? I'm Serge. Lead the way. All right. Companions. So what are you? Tell me about yourself. You. Cleric gang. Hold on. Seriously? We're both clerics? Oh, that's kind of funny. That moment, like, the, the party needs a healer. Oh, everyone rolled healer. We're all here to help. Uh, can I check out your character sheet? Wow, we're basically the same person. <laughs> okay, oh, there's approval between people. Okay, we're neutral. You're a trickery cleric. Alright, so I guess I've got half a rogue, maybe? And you are a half elf. Okay. Oh, do you have a bow or anything here? No. Do I have a spare bow I could give you? Also no. All right. Well, let's keep going. Knock, knock. All right. What is this ancient rune circle? Oh, waypoints. Okay. What do you mean camp? Huh. This seems as good a place as any to make camp. Yeah, it feels a little divinity. What the? What have I done? Something the matter. What do you think of what's happened so far? We haven't gone all that far yet. What are you referring to exactly? Uh... What do you think we should do? Find a healer. Right, and okay. The sooner, the better. I accidentally went to the camp way too there. soon here. We'd best get hunting. Turn to other matters. Leave. Okay. Yeah. How do I leave the camp? Oh, what's this? Traveler's chest. Okay. Oh, okay. This is a very pretty generic campsite. I guess I go this way? No. Um, maybe I have to sleep? I guess I have to sleep. Go back to the waypoint interface? Gonna be honest with you, I have no idea how I did that. I clicked on a circle before. 
Oh, leave camp. Okay, I understand. Thank you. Okay, let's head north. Let's go into this random cave. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. More of those wretched things. Okay, they ran away again. That's good. They are friendly on the ship. Maybe they'll be friendly here too. Surge is a Baldur's Gate veteran. Oh, they're not friends anymore. Hardly a Baldur's Gate veteran. I mean, I played the original game 15 years ago? Alright, what spells do you fight. have here? Charm Person, Blessing of the Trickster. I think now's as good as any time to use Guiding Bolt here. Yeah, goodbye. Cantrip, you have 10 health. It's a dexterity save. How dexterous do you... Ah, whatever. Let's just kill it. How did you live through that? Oh my... What was that damage? Okay, yeah, we're definitely gonna hit them with spells. Holy crap. We fight well. Perhaps our survival isn't such a distant prospect. Rest in your party. Use the campfire to rest. Okay. Abducted commoner. Ah, we're back on the ship. Okay. So that takes me back up. We're trying to go around to get to the other side of that rune, so. Dead Mind Flayer. Okay, got a healing potion back, great. Okay, let's head this way. Ah, waypoint discovered. Cool. Hi. You're alive. That's unexpected. Last I saw you, you were lying in a crucible's worth of blood. An intellect devourer nibbling at your ear. Glad to see my eyes deceive me. I'm Gale. Well met. Can... How high level do you have to be to teleport? Is this, like, help me out with some D&D &D lore. This is going to inform my decision here. If it's a low level thing, then we're chill. Or am I talking to, like, ninth level? This person's basically a god. All right, let's be polite. <laughs> uh, well met. Very same. A traumatizing experience, if an instructive one. By trauma, I suppose you mean the thing they put in my eye. Yes. The ocular penetration by an elithid tab pole, which will end with our souls being snuffed <laughs> like strands of weave caught in dead magic. Not to mention, you're staring at me like a rashimi at a blackboard. You're no wizard, are you? Nope. I'm no wizard. Hmm. Pity. But that'll have to wait. The primary need now is a healer. Y Correct. I take it you recall the insertion of the parasite? Vividly. Are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it'll turn us into mind flayers? Y yes, I'm aware. Ceremorphosis? It is to be avoided. I assume you're no accomplished healer either. Powerful cleric, maybe? I, hey, I, I will be. Thank you. Yeah, I am. Patron of Tear. 
Not the power to remove tadpoles, I gather. Rude? I, you, if I pray enough, maybe I'll be given the power. How about we look for someone who already has that power? Oh, man. How about we embark on a quest for a healer together? Yes. Yeah, random wizard. Most excellent. Then, without further ado, let's be off. Besides, looks like you keep some interesting company. A woman with shadows for eyes. Deep as the dark lake. Pleasure, madam. Is it indeed? We'll see. Wait. Hold on. What what level are you? Toggle character sheet. There's only a level one wizard. Hold on. How did they teleport? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, they fast traveled. Oh. I was so polite because I thought they were really strong. Okay, how do I level up? Uh, advantage positioning. What does this mean? Range attacks gain advantage by shooting from a higher ground. Oh, okay. Preparing spells. Spellcasters. Yep, it's fine. Advantage, disadvantage. Okay. Level up. So now I have access to turn undead. I don't know if I care. Inflict wounds. What else do we have here? Guiding bolt. Create water command. Halt. Bane. Hey, what's up, Max Turkey Flaps? Thank you for four months. 25th of a Canadian metric year. Yeah. Uh... New subclass feature, Preserve Life. Evoke a healing energy it restores three times one hit points. Okay. Channel Divinity. Okay. Wow, I rolled really well on my hit dice there. I had 11 hit points. What is the hit die on a cleric? Is it a D8? Did I roll an 8 out of 8 there? Or do you always get max hit dice? D8 plus constitution. Okay, so my con is plus three, so I rolled a five. All right, that's not that bad. I got a five or a six. No, I have a plus three to constitution because my cons my wisdom, or pardon me, my con was 16, wasn't it? Maybe it was just 15? All right, let's see how she rolls. So she had nine hit points. Oh, it looks like she just goes to 15. It just always takes the average roll? Okay. Invoke duplicity. Summon illusion to distract your enemies. You and your allies receive advantage on attack rolls against Gintreacher. Oh, okay. Alright, let's check out your spells here. Witch Bolt. 1d12 lightning damage. Cool. Grants immunity to fall damage, ray of sickness. Mage armor is really important. Once played with the Death Cleric Necromancer, thought they were the best healer. Love it. Uh, sleep seems incredible. Heavily obscured and blinded. Sure. I'll put on Featherfall. I feel like, I don't know. You kind of pick your flavor of a damage spell, right? And the rest can just be utility. Evocation School of Wizard. Oh, I get to pick. Uh, I think I want Evocation. I like just like damage spells. Yeah. 
Very interesting. Alright. We have a level 2 party now. Two clerics and a wizard. We're going to do great things. Alright, let's head north here. Let's head into that... Uh, into the runes. Wizards are your DPS. Please, we have hammers. We don't need... We don't need wizard DPS. They'll fall beneath... All of our maces. Okay, we found the chapel entrance. Cool. This party needs beef? We have double cleric. Hey, people! You both twice as tall as me, but I'm half the bloody backbone. But we don't know what that thing even is. And what about the crypt? I'm telling you, it's a ship. And the crypt can wait. Mari and Barton have been trying to break in for days. Now we... Stop! Got ourselves competition already. <laughs> That's our ship. Ooh. Persuasion. The ship is full of monsters. I mean, you can have it if you want. All right. Yeah, there we go. We have advantage for persuasion, so we should do pretty well here. Nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. Yeah, I quick saved after we leveled up there. Well, uh, in that case, come on, you lot. No <laughs> point in getting killed. Second worm gets the cheese and all. Um, second mouse gets the cheese, no? Nobody's getting any damn cheese. Now move it. Hey, all right. Both my party's You're members like that I tried to talk him out of it. I thought we had a fight on our hands. Remember. Oh, oh! Does this do what I think it does? Could I drop that rock on somebody in a fight? That'd be incredibly cool. Can't help but notice that they were standing there. Some of these NPC lines are cheesy. Boo! All right, let's, let's head upstairs. Loot this box. Ornate door. Let's head down here. You can just drop it now if you want to. What if an enemy comes back? You can choose the peaceful option, unfortunately. How dare you? No murder hobo. We are, we are heroes. Thank you, Gibblebock. Everything all right out there? I killed your friends? Wow. We don't know anything about these people. Ah. Uh... Do I want to go in? There's no option for, hey, no, but you should let me in anyways. Character select. Oh, he's still in the dialogue. Oh, interesting. I was hoping I could switch to her. Yeah, I tried to switch to the, uh, the trickery cleric. But wait, hold on. Maybe if he leaves, maybe she can do it. Look, I... I wouldn't lie to an NPC. But our deception cleric... Thank you, Gibblebock. Everything all right out there? No! She failed! Oh, that's awkward. Yeah, and who are you? Probably your trap that did him in. Come through that door and you're getting a knife in the guts. Well, all right. I guess we leave. Wait, do I want to not... I want to head into the ruins, don't I? Uh, explore the ruins. We met some bandits near the ruins. They've been trying to break into a crypt with no success. Okay, we should try and get in there anyways. All right. Yeah, it has infinite health. Let's try this again. 
All right. Well, uh... Okay, there must be another way in. Or I guess we just don't get to get into the ruins anymore. I guess we failed and that's it. Can you imagine if there was a key here? There are lockpicks. Do you think our... Something the matter? Oh, drop the big rock is an interesting idea. Drop the big rock is a very interesting idea. Right, maybe, maybe we can enter that way. Oh, all right. How do I drop this big rock? It's loose. One good push away from tumbling. How do I interact with this? So that's obviously loose. How do I hit it? Do I shoot it with the bow? Aha! Yo! Yo! Hacker voice. I'm in. All right, where's my party? Do I have to tell them all to go in individually? I do. That's kind of weird. All right, well, we kind of smashed and trashed this room. Okay, rustic chest. Your party is separated? How do I link them? Oh, there we go. Thank you. Candle. Okay, bunch of enemies in here. Ah, it is all of those bandits. And were they watching the door? What's happening here? Level two Barton. Okay. It's time to be stealthy. How do I make my whole party hide? All right, we are the stealthiest people ever. All right, let's just uh, get on out of here. <laughs> Wait, are they not coming? Why? Why is she not following? Oh, she's not linked. I understand. <laughs> All right. Uh, maybe we can get in and out with no one noticing. The unclaimed. Big old lore book. That's yeah, probably fine. This is so funny. If you click the clock above the toolbar, it'll put it into initiative so you can sneak more easily. What is this? Uh, somebody died of drowning, internal rot, and fever. Okay. Bowl and a plate. No, it's fine. We're looking for supplies. That's why we we're told to come into the ruins. That's curious. Oh! Oh! Oh, our spot check passed. What's that? What did I just open? Yo, what? Candles are edible. I think I'll pass. 
I don't think we have to resort to eating candles yet. Under the statue, maybe? That's what I would have assumed. Is that under the statue something would have happened, but I didn't see anything move. Maybe I check this plaque? Yeah, the spot check is for the lever, but not to ever spot the door it opened, right? I don't think it's in this room. I would have assumed that, like, maybe that statue would retract or something, but... Nah, it's probably out here. Alright, uh, we know that these bandits are bad, because I can directly attack them. What do you think? Should we just fight them, or should I continue being stealthy? I think we just fight them here. More thieves tools. You can attack everyone? It shows them as hostile on the map though. Can I throw the oil barrel? All right, they're all covered in oil. Do I have some type of fire grenade? That's acid. Firebolt. <laughs> hey, it worked. I can't believe how well that worked. Uh, please go away. Holy moly. Oh, oh no. They've responded with fire. Am I sure they were enemies? Uh, well, they kind of are now helping a downed character. Oh, that's awkward. Uh, that's mega awkward. When a character's hit point reaches zero, they must roll a die to stay alive. They fought fire with fire. How dare they? After three successes, the character is stabilized. After three fa failures, the character is dead. Uh, character can buy being saved by being healed or if someone uses a help ac action. So I want to heal them. Invalid target. Invalid target. Why? Okay, you're fine now. Good. Uh, no, no, no. Let's use a. Let's use this. I already used a spell. Okay, so I have to fire at somebody. Hey, 50-50. Alright, you are currently standing in fire. I recommend you stop that. Um, you're a wizard. Out of actions, right. Okay, let's get out of the fire here. And then we're going to move just around and behind the corner here. Ow. Yikes. Ow. Help! Maybe I shouldn't have picked a party with like six people. Picked a fight with six people. Okay, she's down. Wait. Oh, they're trying to kill her. That's so rude. Interrupted. Okay, so I should.
Oh, I'm ensnared. Wow, that's awkward. Cool. I guess mage armor because I can't move to get line of sight over there. That's really awkward. And you're really hurt, so eat this potion. What is that shot? They can't miss? Unless they're trying to kill my person. Character in my party is dead. Alright, we might get our first uh, full party wipe here. Oh, that's awkward. I missed. Break line of sight on the archers. I'm still ensnared. I'm ensnared for eight turns. How do I... How do I get out of being ensnared here? I not close this door with mage hand? Okay. The fact that I got hit with ensnare <clears throat> when I can't make line of sight on everybody is really frustrating. Because I can't do anything with these spells and they're around the corner. Oofa. Should be a free action to break free. Hide, throw, dash. No, I think I think this is just my life. Yeah, I don't know if there's just like a passive roll every turn. Why can you hit me? All right, I think we're wiping here. <clears throat> this might be GG. Unless our mega cleric here can fight his way through the entire party. Crit. All right, we'll fight it out just so we can learn some more about combat here. We're almost certainly going to die. And that's okay. <laughs> Items received. What? Just crit? Just crit? <laughs> Hello? Oh. <laughs> How great would it have been? Oh, look at this! <laughs> Ow. Close that door. Kill Barton. <laughs> Let's go! I might actually be able to win this fight. Can I not target myself here? Oh, you have to be not wearing armor. Okay. Alright, I have two scrolls of re revive, so that's fine. Uh, yeah, let's use another potion here. I think I can win this fight now. You know what? No, let's keep the door closed. They'll come to me. Yes! <clears throat> I feel a little bit bad. I feel like I'm taking advantage of the AI here. Ow. All 
All right. Goodbye. Oh my god. We're doing it. We're actually going to win this fight. All right, let's go here and let's wait. Oh, the door's gone. Hey, what's up, Borton? Hold on, let's, uh, let's, let's see if we can lure them to me again. Can I get there in one turn? Curse me and my stubby little dwarf legs. All right, I don't think they can kill me in a turn. And I bet you didn't think to pray for fire. Wait, I have a bow? This is fine. Fail? All right, my weapon is now on fire. Yo, that's so cool. Just don't crit. Great, okay. Can they just kite me forever? No, my, my stubby little legs. All right, they can't, they can't roll every time, can they? Oh, they're at one hit point? the shield. This is so frustrating. What if I jump? Alright. Bet you didn't see that coming. Yes! We won! Well met. I am a magical projection of Gale of Waterdeep. And if you see this manifestation, that means I have prematurely perished. However... For reasons that cannot talking be disclosed, <laughs> it is of vital importance that my death be remedied at your earliest convenience. You may rest assured that I do not speak out of self-preservation alone. Many lives depend on my return to the living <laughs> within the span of two days. I trust I've made myself clear. Ah, uh, <clears throat> my God does not give me the ability to resurrect. No need. I have upon my deceased person a magical item that can accomplish my return. But such is the value and rarity that it is protected by a multi-layered security protocol. I will now explain the protocol. All right. Step one is to retrieve from my person a pouch I wear over my heart. Okay. Next, oh, this you must talking wall is fascinating. That seals it in a counterclockwise fashion. Remember counterclockwise, chat. Any other okay, strand. purple counterclockwise, no other Inside color. Inside the pouch, you will find a folded letter and a tiny flute. Unfold the letter and note the markings in the top and This is ridiculous. Corners. These are the notes you will need to play. Starting <laughs> from the bottom right, play the notes in correct order. My wizard Not just lip synced. Upon My dead wizard! I have no head! Oh, this cutscene is so broken. Pose the following question. <laughs> this is ignorant for what is my name? The answer is Kasi Trak Ash. Pronounce the name correctly and the method will breathe on the letter. Stay clear because the little scamp can melt metal. Words will now appear on the letter's surface, effectively turning the letter into a scroll of true resurrection. Use it to bring me back to life. This is ridiculous! I think ingenious is the word you're looking for. Now, repeat <laughs> my instructions back to me, please. What? I'm not trying to try your patience. I simply need to be absolutely certain you understand. What? Okay, we are... We're the good guy. You know what? Sure, sure. I'll play along. And next... Uh, the purple thing counterclockwise? Oh my god, it's actually asking me to remember right. this. You then have access to the letter and the flute. Go on. 
Oh, I don't remember. I was making fun of the video cutscene at this point. Did anybody remember what they said? Bottom right, thank you. Remember to play them clockwise. And after that? Then I say your name. It ended in Ash, right? When a Mephit appears, I should say its name. I think it ended in Ash. Number three? You don't even remember a flute? <laughs> what do you mean no outside assistance? I need your help. It ended in Ash. That's what I thought, right? Yeah. Correct. But pay attention to the track part. <laughs> it's back of the throat. <laughs> so we have gone through the necessary steps again. It is gratifying to see your memory does not fail you. Best of luck with the protocol. May my cold, dead hands soon be refilled with the warmth of life so they can shake yours in gratitude. All right. Well, my party is dead. Uh, so let's go ahead and fix this. There is a Twitch extension for this. You're correct. Oh, we can loot everybody. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Scroll of a Vrive. One. Hey, welcome back. Uh, wait, where's my second teammate here? They're back here, right? Oh, crap! No! What? Why is it full of poison? Hold on, how do I get them back? Get out get out of the poison, get out of the poison. Can I wash away all that poison? Um That's a bug? How do I get my dude back? Necrotic Aura. So if I run through and then resurrect them, will they die from their own Necrotic Aura or what? Open his pouch? How do I open this? Oh, I have to do all the steps. One, pouch above the heart. Two. Oh, that was Gale in that whole thing. I do want, okay. So there we go. Pouch above the heart. Step two. Open the pouch. The pouch is sealed with differently. Oh my god! Threads. Right, of course. Okay. Uh pull the purple thread. I honestly didn't think I was talking to Gail there. I understand. As the purple thread becomes undone, the pouch opens to reveal a letter and Oh, I understand now. Okay, uh I now have to Where's the letter in the flute? Wait, where, where is this? Perfumed letter. So hold on, I'm supposed to open this. Take the letter and the flute. Okay. Read the letter. Oh my God. Okay, so starting in the bottom right. Yeah, I kind of wanted to say DM I do that. 
So I have to open this up. Bottom right, go clockwise. Okay, bottom right is D clockwise. So bottom right, now we want to go bottom left. D, E, A. Dead? I played dead? D, E, A, D. That's ridiculous. Okay, so now I play the flute and I say dead. This is the flute Gale kept on his person. A faint magic play a little ditty. Position your fingers on the flute, ready to play individual the notes. With bated D, E, A, D. A demon has appeared. Uh, your name ends in ash. And now I... Now hold on, hold on, hold on. I hand over the letter now? Or we'll speak again later? I can't remember what I'm supposed to do at this point. This is ridiculous. Give the letter? Okay. And now it turns into a thing of pure... Of actual proper regeneration, right? Hot bar, bottom right. Ah, scroll of true regeneration. Okay. So, I'm going to have to run through and tank all of this so I can actually get line of sight. That was ridiculous. All right, well, I got good news and I got bad news. Uh, the good news is we won that fight, but at what cost? I just cast a ninth level spell. My word, you did it. <laughs> oh, it's good to be alive. Wow, wow. Are still cold, so that handshake will have to wait, but in the meantime, thank you. Welcome back. Hold on. I'd like to point out your protocol sucked. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Explanation. Explanation. Yes. I was afraid you'd say that. <laughs> Only fair to warn you, I have precious few answers to spare. I apologize if that sounds thankless. It's just that some secrets simply cannot be revealed. What if I persuade you? Look, I just brought you back to life. Come on, big money. Yes, okay. Yeah, how does a level 1 wizard... Level 2 wizard, thank you very much. Have this backup plan. I suppose and this, my friends, is why we me. specced in Persuasion. At least a little bit forthcoming. Tell you what. I will answer one question that you may have. I get to ask one to question? My ability, if I can. Oh! You know what? There's the ability to be like, you know what, never mind. If it makes you uncomfortable, I won't insist. Yeah. 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 You know what? I'm going to respect your privacy. That's... Well, that's very kind of you. If the roles were reversed, I don't know if I'd have your patience. You brought me back to life, and for that, I am in your debt. But we're surrounded by danger. It could happen again. If it does... Bring me back again. You must. For the sake of many. You know what? In the future, in the future, when they're ready, they'll tell me. Do I have a healing cantrip? How do I... Let's go ahead and get her to heal herself here. Take you. Alright. Uh, we're going to put in a save here. Because... That was amazing. There are a couple of people in chat who are saying, Surge, pave the save. You're not going to make it. Well, 
News flash. We won a 3v6. It only cost us everything. Ooh, ring mail armor. Disadvantage on stealth. Great club. Dark Destra, thank you very much for 22 months of support. We got some thieves tools. Yeah, does he have a second pouch? Oh, we got some new scrolls. Simple robes. Okay. All right, it's time to load out some people here. Everyone have a bow. Um, light armor. No, let's get you some tankier armor here. I don't know if you have robes or not. Let's give you another robe. Let's give you a quarter staff. Uh, short bow, short bow, short bow. Okay. Torch is a weapon. Eh. I thought I just picked up way heavier armor. Oh, there it is. Heavy armor. Disadvantage of stealth rolls. Uh, I think I'll keep that for myself. Hey, what's up, Anime Kitty? Hold on, this is just better. Disadvantage on stealth rolls. I don't know how often I'm going to be stealthy, let's be real. Oh, simple robe plus two dexterity. Yeah, okay. Uh, you're already wearing a quarter staff. I'm not too worried about that. Uh, I do like the sword, or, or not even the sword and board, but the hammer and board. I think that's a good look. Short bow. Let's go ahead and give you also a short bow. You know what? I don't think there's any reason why I wouldn't just give my wizard a bow. Oh, there we go. We found the reason. Wizards don't know how to use a bow and arrow. Uh, chain shirt. Let's put on that heavy armor. Wow, I kind of low-key love this. It seems to be a lot easier to equip everything from this view. Okay, put in a quick save. All right, uh, the dungeon is ours. Let's take a second here and loot it. Thank you for the help, by the way, chat, with... Uh, all of those ridiculous things. Okay, ornate door open. Wasn't built for the living. Uh, all right. Before we explore the dank crypt, let's keep looting everything. Right. This is the room I snuck out of. We don't need to go back that way. Anything else in here? Pardon me. <clears throat> ancient scroll? No, don't care. Unless I need it. What if this is a quest ancient scroll? Sure. You never know when you can need it. Right, loot goblins? My fellow loot goblins? Ah, uh, yeah, let's check out this room next never played these games is there a plot yes there's a lot of plot so we don't know who our character is we don't know what our backstory is but we were kidnapped uh, by mega scary aliens uh, that have put like a, an alien embryo inside of our brain and we need to find a, uh, a way to get it out before basically it takes over our body forever Interested in the lore book. I feel a presence here. A power. The patron god of this place. Whoever that even is. No intact symbols here. No dedications. Nothing. Interesting. Gail feels like one of those new to D&D memes where the character backstory is involved saying, yeah, no kidding. Just like... I've played a D&D party with this character before, and I'm rolling my eyes, right? Oh, wow. This ornate chest, this opulent chest, contains a single gold. Nice. Ancient, indecipherable text covers the plaque. This is sort of that weird... Dead tongue. Whoever worshipped here must be long gone. 
sort of like the um, the galaxy brain of D and D players. Like the first time you make a D and D character, you're like, ah, oh, this is just a chill character who wants to hang out with people, and then like the second time you make a character, you're like, they're gonna come up with an elaborate backstory, and the third time you're like, layers upon layers of you know backstory and they're tied to a god and you're like oh this is so complex and your party completely falls apart because everybody's too complex and then finally at the galaxy brain you're just like i'm just gonna make a character i don't care about and have fun <laughs> right uh you're just like maybe maybe just chill you've you've done so much in creating your backstory that we don't actually get to play the game now i touched the candle oh it's not it doesn't open a secret door I found a trap. Oh, we're outside now. All right, can I disarm this? Am I just going to walk over it again? Wow, I took a lot of damage there. So, how do I rest? Let's try, let's try going to camp before we do anything else right now. Would you like to end the day? Yes. All my spells are gone. Constitution-based trap detection, right? Oh, hey. All right, let's talk. See, now they're going to tell us everything of their own initiative. Go to hell. <laughs> Good evening. You're a good sport. Go to hell. An everyday expression. So trivial it's almost meaningless. But we've seen hell. It's real. And it isn't trivial. Yeah, we've literally flew through hell together, right? Ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Watch the flames in silence. You ready for this? Devils. Dragons. Yeah. Mind flayers. They used to be abstracts. Pictures on a piece of paper. What a difference a day makes. Now we have tadpoles slithering through our heads like carnivorous feti. That's not abstract. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm going to be an optimist. Shrug emoji? Plot armor? That's the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be up with the lark. Find a healer before the wee one gets hungry. Oh, can we please refer to our brain tadpoles as the wee one from now on? All right, let's talk to Shadowheart. Wait, that wasn't so. hell? This is a good idea. The realm of demons didn't count as hell? You're not sure what's a good idea. There are lit fuses in our heads. Sooner or later, they're going to blow. Each hour that passes, the thing inside us grows. We need to find a healer. Let's wake up at first light. Yeah. I mean, obviously not dying does seem to be important. Maybe we'll get lucky. Hey, everyone approves. Everyone like that. Rest well. We'll need our strength. Cool. All right. And I take it. I, yeah, go to bed. We're going to wake up fully healed. Our spell slots are back. I'm kind of hovering. That's fine. Cool. Okay. I kind of love that, actually. Put in a quick save, and let's go explore the dank dungeon. Oh! But just how dwarves sleep? Yeah, okay, that's fair. Wait, the dank dungeon was this way. I don't mind the idea of the camping dimension. Honestly, it's fine. Because, like, you can rest in a dungeon in D&D as well, right? It's like some hand-wavy stuff. We go to the camp, and we just pretend that the camp is in the dungeon in a corner. Or the fire. It's a metaphor. It's a metaphorical camp. Ooh, silver. Another opulent chest. Nothing's ever gone wrong by 
raiding a dungeon. Ooh, polished. All right. Um, who has their money on zombies? Who has their money on ghosts? It's going to... Joe says zombie ghosts, right? Like, I'm going to step here. I'm going to step here. And some kind of supernatural is going to attack us. Dark Morford. Oh, chat's all on Team Skeletons. Goblins? Goblins? No, no, no. It's going to be undead. Not. It's too bright for ghosts, says Anime Kitty. All right. Heavy oak door. What a... Look at the size of this thing. Oh, wait. Maybe we could talk to this window. Hello? Yeah, okay. All right. We go, we go this way. Skeleton archers. Well, that's... That's not a good sign. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh. Okay, there's the sarcophagus. You ready for this? Hey! Beware of gas pits. I can't see any way to disarm it. Okay, then we go around. I hope my pathfinding is smart enough to figure that out. Vampires? No. Oh! Uncommon two-handed melee weapon. Our first magical item. You have entered turn-based mode. This breaks the world down into turns. Okay. Uh, is the floor gas? Hold on. I'm I'm confused as to what's happening here. Uh, let's just run. Oh, I f I'm prone. Not enough speed. I can't jump. The floor is grease? Alright, what's the what's the secret to grease here? The floor is greased and the walls spit fire. This is bad. Maybe if I sneak? Yeah, okay. Haha! -ha! Turns out, turns out, if you're on the floor, you're short enough that you won't get hit. Actually, the fact that you have to crouch out of this is really cool. One time. Yeah, okay, we're doing it. Should I be really greedy and go back and try and loot these two? No, that's too greedy. <laughs> Wait, I can jump? Yes, okay. Hacker voice, I'm out. No, 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 no. No greed, chat. No greed. Oh, light the floor on fire, then go back in? Oh. Clever. Okay, let's turn turn-based mode off. No, I did not, did not want to talk to you. I mean, I do have a fire spell. I do have a fire cantrip. Hold on. Ignis. Oh, 
very nice. Uh, oh, wait. Um, is it just going to keep spewing gases forever? All right, you know what? Let's let's go to the next area. Let's go this way, and maybe it'll be done burn. Maybe it'll burn itself out because we got a key, right? That was create water. Yeah, I don't want to use one of my spell slots right now. Let's let's go everywhere else first. Okay, okay. So there's still the chance. Armed Shoot. Scribes. No sign of a struggle. Armed scribes. I wonder what was so subversive about their words that they commanded protection. This is not good either, right? Like, look at the hands there. There is a chance. Ooh, an entombed scribe. Alright. Who had their money on skeletons? Let's just take this. Out of reach. What What do you mean, out of reach? I didn't want to take all, but here we are. Brazier. Get some more light in here. Alright, let's go down and talk to this statue. Jurgle. I didn't think anyone worshipped the scribe of the dead. Jurgle, the scribe of the dead. Uh, I thought I saw something there. Okay, let's read this plaque. The inscription is in a language unknown to you. You passed your religion check. Can you read it? The inscription is in a language unknown to you. You're a wizard. Any idea what it says? The inscription is in a language <laughs> unknown to you. All right. Fair enough. Okay, let's keep going this way. Do you think I need to, uh, for my human friend, should I have a candle going? I'm really curious about that. I do have dark vision. Do I need a torch? Give me a second here. I have torches, right? Oh, there was a brazier back here. Hold on, let's go back this way. And I want to... I think I can dip my torch in here. Yo! Okay, sorry, this is, this is sweet. Quarter staff, don't care. Wait. Okay, good. It's like, what happened to my torch there? Uh, this is a and dead end. thought for sure there'd be like a little secret passage behind there. Oh, hey, gilded chest. Uh, I guess take the cup. Yeah, the archway for the dead here, right? Like, why isn't there anywhere I can get behind there? Also, have we noticed how a lot of the architecture is made that natural light can shine on the gods there. I think that's actually just really cool. Can we take the gilding out of the chest? The loot goblins. Oh, there we go. Heavy key. Yeah, I don't... Ooh, weighs nothing worth 30 gold. I'll take that dagger. Hello, bats. Okay, here we go. Time for a fight. Let's lead with our dwarf. Alright. Alright. 
Let's see who wins on the flavor of undead. Looks like someone wanted to bury their secrets. Maybe I played too much Skyrim, but I'm expecting all of these sarcophaguses to like pop open. Right? This book is far lighter than it should be with such a massive lock. Oh! Uh, I'll use my cleric, channel a spark of divine power into the lock. We are in a temple of the dead, so maybe the cleric things will uh, have a moment here. Wisdom check. Let's go. Nice. As the lock opens, a loose page comes with it. Magic pulses from the parchment. What was once script is now an obliterated scroll. You have a sense these are names, a list, but of what? Religion. Examine the book more closely. Oh no. Okay, okay. Nice. Hey, Lexi, welcome. Gods. These are the names of gods. Once lost, but now restored after the second Yeah, this is, this is basically D&D. &D. So you get passive uh, spot checks and stuff, Anime Kitty. Uh, we spotted a chest and a lever earlier. We missed one at the other time. I think I prefer that to the original Baldur's Gate. You'd have to have, like, spot check on constantly with your rogue. It was... It was kind of unfun, honestly, to always have to manually do stuff. Like, just a passive, go slow, have a passive ability to spot traps is a lot more interesting, personally. Names of gods once lost, but now restored. Okay. Entire pantheons have dwindled and been reborn, silently recorded by this book. Cool. A scroll of ray enfeeblement. Okay. Book of the Dead. You know what? Let's take this Book of the Dead with us. Why not? Uh, yeah, hey, what's up, sarcophagus? How you doing? Oh, gross. Battle axe. Uh, I think we take this battle axe. I think this is super cool. So. What do you think, chat? Are we a mace dwarf or are we a battle axe dwarf? I think, I think one-handed battle axe is too cool to pass up. That's really pretty. Take the skull? That's kind of weird. Why would we carry a skull around with us? It seems like a terrible idea. Yeah, I don't know if a cleric can equip it, but as a as a dwarf, I can. We don't want people to think we're grave robbers. No, you just take the stuff and you leave the skull. Please, chat. You never know when you're going to need a skull. Ah. Alright. Now we're in the natural cave system. Still no one dead. What about the magic item? The magic item is a spear. Two-handed spear, which none of us use. Oh. Oh! What is this? Suspicious. Oh, there is another entrance. Oh, that's really interesting. You can use the spear if you want to because it's a simple weapon. Let's read the description here. I, I think I like the fact that I'm using a shield. I think the shield is pretty strong. So, yeah, two-handed thing. What does this do? Is it just like a plus one magical weapon or do I have to identify it? The holder of the item gets rush. Death's Promise. When the spear misses, the next attack made with advantage. Oh, that's really cool. No, no, no. We don't need... We don't need a spear. We just tank for our mage. 
All right, let's head back to that room that was on fire and see if it's burned itself out yet. Oh, did I just miss this chest in the corner? Survey says yes. Yeah, just don't miss, forehead. Then you don't need advantage on the second time. Alright. Are you no longer on fire? You know what? I doubt the loot is that good. Do you want hints on secrets? Yeah, let me know if there's secrets. Are there places I should check out here? I don't know what I expected, GIF. Yeah, just set the grease on fire, forehead. It'll be fine, they said. Great water would probably deal with it, and then I could just sleep afterwards. You know what? Yeah, let's let's go. Go back to that room. There's a secret there's a secret door in here somewhere. I imagine there's a secret door behind there. Alright, let's try putting out a grease fire. Oh, I'm gonna have to use so much water here. Now hold on. Let's uh let's separate the party. Alright, let's go. We're doing it. Oh, I'm almost dead. Okay, well, I had to use a potion. Jeez. Did I get a five-star character? What did I get from that? I got a ringmail armor. Okay, second piece of heavy armor. And a rapier. You know what? I don't know if that was worth it. I'm not going to go for the other side. All right, let's head this way. Wait. Wait. Right, I didn't need to use a potion. Actually, I thought I did because I may have burnt to death there. We'll, uh, let's see if we can find the secret room. Right, we opened a... Remember, we pulled the lever already. Shadowheart isn't proficient with heavy armor. What is the penalty you get if you're not proficient? I like that you can wear it. I just don't know what the, what the penalty is. Okay, apparently there's a secret room in here. Or secret door in here. It's gotta be back here, right? Ooh, what's that? Aha! Aha! Disadvantage on stealth checks. I thought that was just the heavy armor. Oh no! All right, it was skeletons. It was skeletons. So, uh, just woke up down here. Let them come. Feeling the a little awkward that I didn't take turn undead. Why would I? I should have read that that said 30%. Yeah, I have two clerics and neither of them took turn undead. I also threw away my chain lightning there, which is a problem. Acid. Summon an illusion, distract your enemies. I like that idea. 
hey, look. That's totally me right there. Okay, radiant damage has got to just absolutely crush these, right? Okay, so we have an entombed warrior. That one seems stronger than the other. Ah, miss on an 80%? Yeah, I did take all their weapons, which feels pretty good. Why are you not attacking this beautiful dummy? Five percent. What? Curl a modifier creates a flammable surface. Definitely don't want that. All right. Well. Glacius. Holy moly. This is fine. Are you standing in fire? You're standing in fire. That's a problem. Why do I only have a 50% chance to hit here? This is a problem. Things are going poorly. There we go. I finally hit something. They've just got really good AC. Alright, let's try and flank this thing. So it turns out they can crit as well. All right. Uh, yikes. So first order business. Disengage. Not enough speed. All right. Alright, we need to we need to get out of here. We need to hide in this room. I'm gonna drink this potion of speed now. Oh, cool, we're in, good. What happens if you wipe, you go back to your previous save. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and use this last healing potion here. All right, the attack of opportunity. Love it, love it. Put a little bit of fire on the ground here. Wait, what? Is that a touch? Ignis. Nope, awkward. Okay, keep running. What does color spray do? Ranged attacks and spells have a range and suffer from disadvantage. Oh my god. Okay. All right. Get. Wait, did you go down as well? Shoot. Alright, 
You have to come to us now. Sleeping? <sighs> Alright, I don't think we're coming back from this one. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna reload now. We're gonna reload this time. I definitely remember playing the original Baldur's Gate and like encountering basilisks for the first time, and your entire party would just get petrified and you couldn't even resurrect them. It was brutal. <laughs> So I think I quick saved right before I hit the button there. So let's see what happens. Our first reload. Our first full team party wipe. Okay, maybe it was a little bit further back than I thought. Oh no, this isn't that bad. Take your dagger. Take all the glasses. Uh, this is before we went in and wasted our spell slots on water. All right. So this time everyone's going to hide in the room. Okay, let's put our quick save now. I already looted all their bodies. I already looted all the zombos, right? Like the the entombed warrior that's here. What do I find intriguing about this game? I just like playing D&D. &D. I guess I lied. That one still had its weapon. Alright. My cleric should have turn undead. Yeah, I'd have to go back and rest on things like that. We'll see if I have to go back and change it. Okay. So we've saved. What's that? I've saved. We're going to hit the button. We're going to run inside. Or, I mean, I could camp right now, couldn't I? You know what? Yeah, let's go. Let's go full. We're going to restart. Let's do this properly. Character sheet. How do I change my spells? Right. Oh, they should just have access to it. It's a skill, not a spell. Oh. Oh. Very interesting. Huh. Okay, we want spells at the bottom. Let's put our healing spells to the right. Let's put our combat spells to the left. Put our cantrips up top. Okay, spells, that's all down there. Cantrips. Divine things. Okay, so we've got turn undead now. Each undead that you can see or here is forced to flee from you. So maybe we don't need to run? We have double turn undead now, which is very interesting. Last time I used the invoke dupli 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 duplicity, whatever. That was interesting, to say the least. What is this? Arcane Recovery Charge. Once per day, out of combat. Replenish expended spell slots. Interesting. Okay, let's put that there. Okay. Alright. I feel I feel better. If 
Fire hurts undead more. Yeah, none of my spells landed, which was really frustrating. Okay, give me a quick second. I'm very quickly going to go pee, and then we're just going to try this fight again. Be right back. Okay, what's up, friends? We're back. Thank you very much. So, we're about to get ambushed by a bunch of skeletons, and... We could try and cheese this a little bit if we wanted to. So, I know that there's a bunch of mages up here, and they're kind of a giant pain in the butt. So, we could, we could metagame this a little, and we could put these two up here. Just, like, near one of them? How did you take damage? So, yeah, like... How do you feel about fromage, chat? Did I get a scroll of silence? Creates a sound soundproof sphere. Creatures and objects are silenced and immune to thunder. Should stop spell casting. Uh, can I do it on on a target? We can try. Can I attack the bodies before they animate? We can talk later. That would be a no. All right. Let's try this again, friends. Cinematic pending. Hello. Oh, 
I'll try a couple different fromage strategies here. Oh, hi. So, what are my chances of hitting it with a torch? 80%. I wonder if I can light it on fire. Wait a second here. Fire bolt creates a fire surface on the ground. Ray of frost. Glacius. Cool start! You ever just, uh... You ever just critical miss? Alright, uh, let's go ahead and... So, we've got turn undead going on down here. Let's have both be turn undead. Why not? Let's go. Oh! Oh, crap. That's what turned means. I just understood how that, how that works. It's only if they're on the inside. Okay. I thought it was an aura that constantly makes him scared. I didn't actually understand how that worked. Yeah, I, I, I feel like I've done this poorly. Yeah. All right. Well, I've wasted both of my turn undead. Th this is fine. I'm sure this is fine. We didn't need that spell, did we? Prone and turnt. Okay. I can't possibly miss twice, right? Glacius. Okay, there we go. Hey, there we go. Reload. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Now that now that they're not getting the drop on us, everything here is fine. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to gank the mages first. Ow. Gank the mages first. Oh, there's two over there. It's harder to hit prone things with a ranged attack. Okay. I'll just hit him with my staff next time. We've already lost a party member again. Brutal. Pin down. Great. Kill the healer, then the mage, then the range, then the melee. Yeah, so I can't actually get by here. What if? What if? See ya! Yeah! It's all about the old disengage. One shot? Sorry, I fist pumped out of... I got carried away. Alright, two mages are down. This is already hundreds of percent better my mage is asleep awkward awkward i feel like you're really doing your job here gail our mage is is such a helper it's incredible Thirty percent chance to hit. Like, why can't I hit this dude? All right, can I just nuke you? Okay, better. Three down. Check this out. Shove pushes them away, so now I can run up and kill this one. It's all coming together. That's all of them. All right, now. Are you are you awake yet? There we go. What do you mean luck sack? This is a game of skill. You know, other than the fact, well, I don't know why I can't use magic on this. Other than the fact I uh, 
completely threw away. My starting advantage with turn undead. This is doing great. Smash. Have a good one, Chris. Oh, they crit. Target is obscured by the shadows. Oh, can you not hit anything because it's too dark? Hold on, is the reason my mage can't see because lack of night vision? The warrior has no weapon! Because we took their weapon! Yo! Okay, well, I'm not too worried about this fight then. We're just going to keep hitting things here. Critical miss. Oh, taking their weapons was such a big brain play. Alright, so check this out. Uh, hey, maybe you can hit now. There we go. Just crit. No, it's still a 50-50 here. Weird. All right, can I hit with a spell now? Still 30%. Okay. Target is too close. You know what? Just go do anything. That was terrifying. What a fight that was. Alright, we had to do a little bit of fromage there, but we got there. Rising from the dead just to protect some dusty baubles. Fools. They I mean, I do kinda like Let's just be the insufferable good guy. Look, they only attacked us because we desecrated a tomb. We should have left this place untouched. Please. Disapproves. Uh oh. Oh right. This place isn't worthy of them. Let's move. All right. I forgot that she's a shadow cleric. Downside of playing humans, the light level is important. Yeah. All right. Let's put in another save here. Let's actually put in our main save. Or secondary save. This is going to be our backup save. Remember, friends, have multiple saves. So that you can always roll back just in case. So this is the secret room. Oh! Speak with the dead. That's so cool. I'm sure this isn't going to backfire. You like to live dangerously with only a single save? I mean, you do you, friend. Hello. Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh, hello. Ah. Uh. So he has spoken, and so thou standest before me, right as always. What a curious way to awaken. Now I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? <laughs> a little spooked by you crawling out of the tomb?
quite the question. What's the reason for it? Curiosity. Nothing more. Yeah, this thing looks kind of amazing Wilt and kind of terrifying. My question? What's the answer to the question? Attack? Uh, yeah, let's answer. Remember, super good so, guy. I ask again. What is the worth of a single mortal life? Depends on the person's deeds. Life only values as a currency. Yikes. Each life is of infinite value. Holy moly. Depends on the mortal? Alright, we're going to go with the ultimate. So, what's our god? We're Tyr. And Tyr is like super good guy. Sets your moral attitude. I'm going to say we are all equal. We're super good. But like good... Good is really tough, right? Yeah. Like, one in four are very similar, right? I like we're all equal. A lot of people thinking four? <laughs> Number two depends on the person. I'm not a two. I'm not on a, I'm not on a two. I like four is better than one. One is better. Oh, I love it. A lot of interesting moral choices here. I'm going to go with one. In death, that is so. Wow, everyone is equal when they die. That's heavy. Very well. I am satisfied. Can you move the battle axe there, please? Me? We have met, and I know thy face. We will see each other again at the proper time and place. What does that mean? Farewell. Yeah, if we had gone with the crying god, maybe we're number one. Wait. Uh, hello? Okay, bloodstone and something else. Great. Um. I think... I think I actually have to be done right now. I... And this doesn't happen very often. I'm getting a bit of a migraine. And I can tell I'm getting a migraine because I'm starting to get, like, visual haloing. I've got a big bright spot and it's getting really hard for me to read right now. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to end the stream pretty early. And maybe if I'm feeling better, I don't have anything else happening for the day. I can come back and do some more there. But, yeah, this is unfortunately going to have to be the end of the stream right here. I don't get migraines very often, but yeah, all of a sudden... Very hard for me to read most sentences people say. I can see sort of like the first couple letters, the last couple letters, and then guess what's on the inside. So, friends, thank you very much for watching. Apologies. I had a very, very, very good time playing Baldur's Gate 3. I hope you had a good time watching. Uh, thank you to everyone who tuned in and for the subs and the bits and stuff like that. And, yeah, uh, let's send some love on to someone. And then I'm going to call it a day. If you're enjoying the Baldur's Gate 3 content, let's send some love over to Adam, who's also streaming Baldur's Gate right now. All right, friends, the raid has started. Thank you very much. Sorry for calling it to a close so abruptly, but uh, I'll see you next time. Cheers.